Using Maple, I'm going to take a look at the mathematical proof technique called math induction. What is math induction? It applies to a sequence of statements. That sequence is denoted here by SN. At least one or two of the initial statements need to be true. And then, if the truth of statement SK implies the truth of statement SK plus 1, then it is judged that every s statement in the sequence is true. So, the typical example that students get to see are examples like this. Prove that the sum of the integers, 1 through n, is given by this expression, n times n plus 1 over 2. Well, how might we do that? Well, let's write s of n equal to this fraction and I will just bring that down and use this pop-up menu to define that as the function s of n. Well, are any of those statements true? What about s of 1? Is that true? Well, 1 is the first term. What about s of 2? That's 1 plus 2. That should be 3. And if you want to do one more, s of 3, that should be 6 because you're going to 1, 2, and 3 added together should give you 6. Okay, so now how do you go from the statement SK, which is this, and it would look like that, it's 1 half k times k plus 1. to s k plus 1. The next statement, well you've added k plus 1. So let's take s k and add, and add to it k plus 1. Well, what was that equal to? Well there's your k, k plus 1 over 2, and I've added k plus 1. And a little algebra, let's factor that for example and it becomes 1 half k plus 2 k plus 1. Is that s of k plus 1? Is that the next statement? And indeed it is because if you would put this n as a k plus 1 then this factor would become k plus 2 and so that's considered then the proof. You have used the truth of SK to establish the validity of SK plus 1. And the next example is similar. It's now the sum of squares. So you're adding 1 squared, 2 squared, etc. up to n squared and supposedly that sum comes out to be this. So let's do the same thing. Let's define S of n to be this expression. So again, drag this over and use this pop up menu to define S as a function of n. Well, what about S of 1? Well, first term, 1 squared is 1. What about S of 2? That's 1 squared plus 2 squared. That's 1 plus 4. That should be 5. And if you want to do one more, what about s of 3? Well, you already got 5, and you would be adding 3 squared, that would be 9, so you'd be adding 5 and 9, and you should get 14. And you do. Okay, so how do you proceed from the k statement the k plus first statement. Well, what is the kth statement? S of k. What, what does that look like? Okay, it's k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 all over 6. And to that, you want to add 
the next term. So s of k plus, what is the next term? It's k plus 1, but that's squared. And what will that equal? Well, there's your 1 sixth of k, k plus 1, 2k plus 1, and there's your k plus 1 squared. Does that factor nicely? Let's see. Okay, that factors to 1 sixth, k plus 1, k plus 2, 2k plus 3. How does that compare to what the next statement ought to be, which is s of k plus 1? Are they the same? 1 sixth, k plus 1, k plus 2, 2k plus 3. So again, that constitutes this proof by induction. The truth of the kth statement is used to establish the truth of the kth plus first statement. And so for a third example, let's show or prove that the sum of cubes, 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, is given by this expression. So we'll proceed as we've done already. Define s of n to be this expression. So we'll make that a function and verify that at least one or two of these statements initially are true. So what's s of 1? Well, 1 cubed is 1. How about s of 2? So now you're adding 1 and 8. So this, sh this should come out to be 9. And if you want to do one more, s of 3. So to that 9, you would be adding 3 cubed. Now 3 cubed is 27. 9 and 27 is 36. Okay, so what's the kth statement? s of k. That's 1 fourth k squared times k plus 1 squared. And we want to use that to establish the truth of the k plus first statement. Now the k plus first statement is the kth statement with k plus 1 cubed added on. So here is your s plus uh, s of k and to that we add k plus 1, the next number, cubed. And what does that equal? Well, it's this plus that, and we'd like to factor that as we've been doing. So we'll factor that and we get this expression. Is that the same as s of k plus 1? Well, it appears to be. And so again, that has established by induction that this formula is true for any value of k. Typically, these are the kinds of examples that students are asked to um, master as a way of learning about this technique called mathematical induction.